quick disclaimer before we start today's video, please watch part 1, it will keep you more in the loop on everything I will be talking about in today's video, and will give you a more broader understanding of what I am talking about. So before you watch this video, go check out part 1, but if you have already watched part 1, enjoy today's video. Twisted Metal Harbor City, oh boy, we have only cracked the surface on this discussion. Twisted Metal Harbor City is the cancelled sequel to Twisted Metal Black, and it did get shortened and turned into Twisted Metal Lost that was included in the extra twisted edition of Twisted Metal Head On. In part 1 we talked about why Twisted Metal Harbor City was cancelled. We went into the backstory and did a little bit of a deep dive into all the reasons why it was cancelled. Now we did barely scratch the surface on all the concept arts, but we didn't get to where I would like to. I only was able to show you guys a little bit of concept material, and I didn't even get to step foot into the promotional materials, the music, and basically a bunch of stuff that even Twisted Metal Black had that was also lost in history. So today we're going to be diving into all of the lost concepts arts for Twisted Metal Lost, Twisted Metal Harbor City, and Twisted Metal Black included. Now, Twisted Metal Harbor City had a bunch of levels that were ready to be included and ready to be finished for the main game, which included airport, ghetto, goth, dock, rail yard, and center. But these were all prototype names and they were all in early development. Some of them you can see on YouTube and some of them I will be showing footage of in the background. Now these were all the levels that you would play around plus the ones that are in Twisted Metal Loss in Twisted Metal Harbor City. Now remember, Twisted Metal Harbor City was supposed to be a open world map. You were supposed to be able to explore the whole map when you weren't doing missions. Now all maps but airport will run. This build, which these maps are available in, can be downloaded for free and played on an emulator. Now, some of you guys were asking, how could you get your hands on this? There's an emulator that you can use, which is called Title Build 63 of, well, Harbor City. And the download contains loose files of the build and a rebuilt ISO, which the ISO is all that's required to play because you don't need any assets or anything like that to obviously play the game since it's all basically new files and all that stuff. Now, in late 2020, a video of a much later version of Harbor City was released online, which I will also be showing pretty soon. And the build number and the dates are unknown, but it does show new levels, such as the ones that were in Twisted Metal Lost. It shows City of the Dead, which is a different version from Lost, but requires hacking to play, being played with a blue and white skin for the 12-pack character, and a few vehicles from Head On in Black can be seen in this combat. Now this is the latest build and isn't available to the public as of right now. Now the reason I'm getting this out of the way is so any more questions that were to arise about playing Twisted Metal Harbor City will stop and be silenced immediately because I, I had to answer a bunch of questions in the comments just so you guys know. But the newest version that was in 2020, it is 2022 now as this video is being released so in the future. Who knows, maybe another emulator, another way to even play this newer version of Harbor City will be released. And it is not publicly available, as I said, and it runs on a tool dev kit. It is unknown if it can be modified to play on a PS2 emulator at the moment. But anyways, let's get into the concepts now that I've gotten this out of the way. Now I'm going to start off with concept art from Twisted Metal Black and Twisted Metal Harbor City. Now I don't necessarily know if these concept arts came from Twisted Metal Black development or Twisted Metal Harbor City. So I'm going to show them right now and just let you guys know that before I start getting into any more discussion about these pictures. Now we have three pictures that I'm going to show up on screen, one based off a of Sweet Tooth one that looks like a ventriloquist doll or dummy, and three, a person holding a cat without a face. Now the clown picture is obvious that it's a Sweet Tooth rework. Now the ventriloquist dummy doll thing reminds me of Charlie Kane's son, aka the driver for Yellow Jacket in Twisted Metal Black. 
It reminds me of what he does to control his dead father, kind of using him as a basically a ventriloquist. He is a ventriloquist and his dad is the dummy. So I don't know if that was concept art for that, but it's nice and it's pretty interesting to think about. Now for the last one, the dude without a face could totally be concept art for no face aka crazy eight so who knows but the cat is a very interesting detail that i can't necessarily put my finger on it could totally be a character plot or just a part of him to give you know him more life in a sense now these next pictures i'm about to show up on the screen are not concept arts these are actually promotional materials for twisted metal black now, these are pretty cool and very obscure and rare to find, and I found them actually researching for this video, so I'm going to put them in anyways because I feel like they could fit in with the Lost Media sort of arc that we have going on here. So here you guys go. Now, these were promotional materials for Twisted Metal Black. These were basically 3D renders of most of the characters in the game. Now, I found all the ones that were not included in the main game because most of them were basically screenshots from the game cut out and just used as promotional materials. Now, this was about all the concept art that I could find for both of these games. Now, these games aren't the most popular, especially Twisted Metal Lost, aka Twisted Metal Harbor City and things were very hard to find, but for Twisted Metal Black, things were a little bit easier. So even though most of these promotional materials and concept arts were for Twisted Metal Black, it can still be very adjacent to Harbor City since they were basically both the same games almost. Now that we got the concept arts out of the way, I'm going to show you guys gameplay of the most recent build of Twisted Metal Harbor City. But first, I am going to show you what Twisted Metal Harbor City looked like years ago. Now, you guys are going to be shocked at how this community transformed such a very, very, very open and barren wasteland of a video game into a basically almost finished Twisted Metal game. It is insane, it is unbelievable, and I cannot believe that the Twisted Metal community was able to pull off such a feat. Now the original video is an hour long, I will put a link in the description if you want to watch the full video, but I'm going to be showing you guys snippets of the most important parts of the gameplay that I feel like I should include and comment on. So if you guys want to watch that, please go watch it after this video, but for right now I'm going to show you basically the highlights of that video. Now this is the level center, I did show a very quick snippet of it earlier, but I didn't get to show it in full. Now this level is very unfinished, there is no textures and there is very little going on. As you can see it is very open, very barren and basically just insanely unfinished. Now the building blocks are there for an amazing level but there just isn't the spice that makes a twisted metal level a twisted metal level. Now this map would have been my favorite because it would have included Carnival of Darkness inside of it. Now. In the finished version, it actually does, and I also showed footage of that earlier, but I didn't get to show it in full. So now, I will be doing that after this video. So, as you guys can see, it is just insanely empty. Now, this footage came out years ago, and when I mean years ago, I mean around 2019. This was the build at the time, and now we're going to transition to the latest build that was in 2020-2021. Now yes, this sounds crazy, but Carnival of Darkness was the complete second half of the level center, or it would have been in Harbor City. Now if you go back and play Twisted Metal Lost, you're going to be in disbelief at how small the map is compared to level center. Now it is absolutely unbelievable how finished this looks compared to the footage I previously showed you. And the whole map is completely different than what it was from Twisted Metal Lost. It is just 10 times bigger in my opinion. Hell, 
This footage right now shows the person leaving the big skull that the map was so infamous for. Now this map is amazing, but we're gonna move on to the next level, which is Ghetto. Now Ghetto is exactly what it sounds. It does fit the Twisted Metal Black personality amazingly. The whole setting, the vibe it brings, it reminds me of the suburbs level from Black. Now unfortunately for the rest of the levels, there isn't as much to talk about, but this map does have some special features and qualities that it does bring to it. It does include the highway that you would be driving through throughout of Harbor City that would take you from location to location, which I do not think Center showcased, at least in that segment of the video. And it would have also included assets from Twisted Metal Lost. As you can see, there is the bowling alley from Suburban Terror. Now, this level would have been an amazing opportunity to look back on, especially if it got released. This would have been a perfect emulator of Twisted Metal Black. And it just kind of gives the very, very scary vibe that you are not safe no matter where you are. Now, I really like that about this level, but as I said, this level just doesn't have all of the necessary parts to make it a Twisted Metal Black level. So we're going to go into the next level that is downtown. Now the first thing I would like to mention about this level is that it seems alive. It isn't very black and it really isn't too dark. Well, at least compared to the other levels, especially Ghetto. Now this level would have had the most destructible environment to be ever dated in Twisted Metal history. Now, as you can see in this footage, all of the buildings are either being destroyed within a couple missile shots or they are already destroyed. Now, downtown would have had this amazing environment which would be changing throughout the match. Now, it's very unfortunate because this would have been a very, very different map compared to all the other maps that we have in Twisted Metal today. This would have been a very unique and very interesting experience to be playing through. Now, even though that there are more maps that I didn't talk about, including Airport, Goth, Dock, and Rail Yard, well, these are all we have time for for today. Now, these are some of the most unique levels that, well, in my opinion, had the most to bring the Twisted Metal Harbor City. So with that, today's video will be over. I really hope you guys enjoyed the dive I took into Twisted Metal Harbor City. And well, I don't know when I will take another visit back into the Twisted Metal franchise. I absolutely love the games going from Twisted Metal Black head on to the new 2012 Twisted Metal, but I just don't know what else I could talk about other than Harbor City. I find it very fascinating how such a big game just got cancelled and could have been an absolute masterpiece. Hell, it could have combated Grand Theft Auto at the time. But guys, please like the video and comment if you have anything else that I could have mentioned or could have said about today's video. Or if you have any questions, please go comment them down below because I will try to answer anything that I can. I know some of you guys have more information than I do, and some of you guys know more different things about Twisted Metal than I do. So please, don't be a smartass and just comment anything that is, well, crucial information that I could have missed about this video. So please go and do that like and subscribe i'm trying to hit 1500 subscribers before february of 2022 so that would be amazing if we could hit that goal but anyways i will see you guys later i really hope you enjoyed today's video and goodbye oh what the fuck